just enough time left for our weekly top five. And this week, we're looking at tech-aided renewable energy sources that could just keep the lights on well into the future. Coming in at number five is solar water heating. These heaters could effectively provide hot water for households that currently use paraffin stoves, coal and wood fires to heat water. This would result in significant social and poverty alleviation benefits through lower fuel costs. In addition, there'd be substantial environmental and health and safety benefits, all with simple technology already available. In fourth place are biogas digesters. These simple mounds turn waste such as kitchen scraps and cow dung into methane gas that can be used for cooking and heating. Tens of millions of households in Asia use them, but they haven't been deployed on a large scale in Africa. There's estimated potential for at least 300,000 households, mainly rural, to benefit from biogas digesters in South Africa. At number three is the planned 100 megawatt solar plant in Uppington. ESCOM's hoping to get going on it by 2016. This Northern Cape location, with its excellent solar radiation levels and huge areas of suitable land, could contribute a significant proportion of South African electricity demand. At number two, we have grid-connected, wind-powered electricity generation, otherwise known as wind farms. Wind farms offer the largest immediate potential for input into the national electricity grid and for significantly alleviating South Africa's power supply shortage. The technology is mature and in use around the world, and for anyone driving through the Western Cape countryside, it's a very familiar sight. Finally, our top pick of renewable energy technology has to be solar photovoltaic energy. PV electricity generation involves turning solar radiation directly into electricity in a solar panel. It is a mature technology, but much more costly than alternatives for large-scale electricity production. We're hoping that more and more South Africans make use of PV electricity generation because we're not expecting the sun to burn out anytime soon.